What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm at Elite Cycling in Leewood, Kansas, where I bought my Cervelo. Today, I'm gonna get a legit professional bike fit from Dale. I've never actually gotten a legit bike fit on any of my bikes, so let's go inside, get this thing started. This is Dale. Dale is What's like, up? you're like the bike fit specialist? Yeah, I'm the sales manager here and I do bike fits here. They have this room set up here that is for like elaborate bike fitting. Uh, they've got a bunch of technology, he's got cool tools, and this is gonna be a, a little bit of a process, but we're gonna get this thing dialed in. Yeah, it takes like two and a half hours to get a fit done uh, with the retool fit. Um, you know, it's just another tool for us to measure. At the end of the day, it's the fitter who interprets the data and communicates with you. Um, how to get you dialed on the bike and um, you know, we'll figure out your limitations, work within them and work towards your goals. Essentially the first part of the fit is Dell getting the initial measurements of the bike and it's pretty wild. He's got this little tool and he simply can point it to a part of the bike and there is a like a laser radar deal set up on the other side of the room and it gets the exact measurements. It's pretty wild. Singles down, like how much it's back from the bottom bracket, your CT angle, like so your frame stack and reach, um, your, your distance from grip to grip. Right here, he's measuring my forefoot angulation. Looking at your forefoot angulation gives me an idea if you need any kind of forefoot shims or anything like that. Dell asked me, have I had any prior injuries from playing sports or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, I've had five knee surgeries. And it never really dawned on me before this, this moment, but wow, my knee injuries and I've got a bad ankle, those could affect how I pedal the bike. So I thought that was really interesting. So I'm gonna support your calf in my forearm and then we're gonna, I'm gonna move your, your knee up to your chest, okay? Yep. And I just wanna see when your glutes start rising off the table. Right there. You can straighten your legs. I'm going to apply traction and we can just see which leg's longer than the other. Right. And then we can figure out whether it's coming from your femurs or tibias. Three times? Yeah. So right hip high, left leg longer. Let's bend your knees and bring your ankles to your butt. Just like that. And we can... So looking for your tibial plateau right here. Mm -hmm. If you pull the outside, your IT bands are tight. If your you know, legs don't want to cut quite relax, your quads are tight. All That's right. all. Uh, so let's do left first. Just let it fall. And you can relax your head. Just relax. Yeah, just let your left leg fall to the table. Um, your quads are bad, but your, you know, I recommend foam rollers for sure. Yeah. Uh, and that's an easy one to get used to, just part of the daily routine. So this is the part of the fit that gets absolutely crazy. Uh, the technology they use is nuts. Basically, Dell is sticking these little Velcro stickies all over uh, my body, and then he's going to put wires on those stickies and uh, those wires are going to measure my back angle, my shoulder to wrist angle, my leg extension, the angle of my ankles, and then as I pedal those numbers are displayed in the screen in front of me so we can get exact measurements and then basically make adjustments from there. This column three will populate with all your numbers. These ranges here are averages we've gotten from hundreds and hundreds of fits that we've done. Um, you know, this would be like 90, 110, 35, negative 40 is going to be the more aggressive side of things. So looks like your saddle is like a little bit too high right now. Um, we know there's not a huge difference between your right and left legs. And we'll measure your right, we'll measure your left, and we'll get a good balance between the two. Um, but right now your saddle is just a hair high. Just one scotch. So throughout this whole process, basically we look at the screen, I pedal, Dell gets an idea of my numbers and kind of where we want to make adjustments. So. You know, it was pretty cool to see the numbers change just based on the small adjustments we made. Yeah. Relax your shoulders a little bit, bend your elbows a little bit more, it would pop it in. So I might hands, and then we just need to see if it's like probably only a couple degrees off. Right here, Dell was just talking me through my pedal stroke and kind of the imperfections in my pedal stroke and kind of how he's more focused on the downstroke, but my knee does tend to travel uh, as I pedal. And we were kind of talking about the numbers and where we might want to adjust things. And we established that I definitely needed to lower my seat a little bit. So the first changes to the bike that Dell made was he put the saddle all the way back on the rails to get ready for the fore and aft. And he tilted the nose of the saddle down a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's working its way that direction. Um, we're still a couple degrees off. I just back up again. 
let's, uh, let's see what we can get to your left side real quick. So right here, Dell is measuring the degree of the extension of my knee with the hand tool. He was just kind of double checking what the screen showed. And after doing this, he established, yeah, let's move the seat down a little bit. At this point in the fit, Dell uh, takes the stem and handlebars off and he's got this adjustable stem that he puts the bars on. So that can give us an idea of exactly what stem length I need. I had a lot of aha moments during the fit process and I think this was the first one. Just by making those minor adjustments uh, to the seat height and the saddle and a few adjustments to the bars, I could instantly feel how much better the bike fit. Is this the right slippery? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, typical orthotics. They suck. Stock ones suck. You need ones that fit you. Dude, um, I've been, these, what, these are like way firmer. There's actually an arch to What have them. I been doing, Dale? <laughs> what have uh, I been doing? It's okay, you've been learning and growing as a person. I've been learning for doing this for 10 years, man. Gosh. So at this point, we start to look at the shoes, and I have never changed the insoles in any of my cycling shoes. I basically just rung what I brung, and I used those, those soles. Uh, and basically, Dell told me that soles that come stock in cycling shoes are crap and he put some Von Traeger orthotics in the shoes and I could instantly feel that that was going to make a world of difference. He also adds some inserts under the soles. Well, we remember when you did like a third knee bend, like when you're doing a third knee bend, your, your legs just wanted to go straight down, but when you're pedaling on the bike, you're all over the place. So this will help prevent you from getting, you know, a repetitive motion injury from jerking around all over the all place right. on the bike. Okay. So again, just supporting supporting time. Sure. So at this point in the fit, after making some small adjustments to the bike, after adding the inserts to the shoes, after adding the new soles, the numbers that were showing on the screen were cleaned up drastically as far as the crazy knee movement went and my pedaling, but Dell wanted to fine tune some things and adjust the cleat placement on my shoes. Yeah, adjusting it to a narrow stance just to kind of support how your knee wants to travel to the inside. Let's just let's just set you up. Instead of being pulled that way, let's just, you know, because you're a neutral pedaler, let's just set you up that way. So in, instead of being like a jerk to the inside, we're just going down. So at this point in the fit process, after making all the adjustments that we had made, things were feeling really, really good. And the cool thing about this room with the technology they have is there is that radar machine that is scanning the sensors that are stuck to the points of my body. So we can see that my right side looks really good at this point. And Dell can simply just spin this platform and then he can get the numbers of the left side as I'm pedaling. After looking at the left side numbers, we decided the saddle needed to come up just a hair. So Dell got the tape measure out, uh, made sure we were exactly where we wanted to be. He straightened things out. And then we got final numbers on both sides. And after that, Dell took final measurements with that cool little tool. So that way we can have the final measurements versus the original measurements. Once we got the final measurements, Dell actually put the initial measurements on the screen next to the final measurements. And he kind of walked through each one and kind of what we changed. And at the end of the whole process, he actually sent me a detailed email report that showed all of the numbers. And this is gonna come in handy for me because I have a few other bikes. And now I can set those measurements on those bikes up to match the bike I just got a fit on. Another thing that Dell mentioned with the whole fit process is that the fit isn't necessarily the be all end all. It's a process that involves you spending time on the bike, riding the bike, and it isn't necessarily all done in one sitting. If there's adjustments that need to be made, you know, Dell stressed that. He's like, you know, we want to get you comfortable on the bike. So in this whole process of the bike fit, if you need to bring it back in and you feel like there's adjustments that can be made, we need to make those adjustments to get you comfortable. All right, guys, this is Dell, <laughs> AKA Daniel, and he'll probably answer to Dale. <laughs> I'll uh, answer to anything. So yeah. Dell, What's up? dude, the minor adjustments. Yeah. Are, I mean, we weren't too far off, like you said, but those minor adjustments, the bike feels amazing. I think I overlooked a bike fit for so long. Yeah, I think a lot of people get stuck in, I mean, like for you specifically, you're someone who could probably just bully your way through everything, you know, just kind of just power through any kind of discomfort you have. But at the end of the day, it's about just keeping things level, supporting your body on the bike. Um, and there's those little squeaks, millimeters here or there really make a difference in like making sure you're comfortable. All right, so quick update since getting the bike fit. I didn't get this on, on film, but they actually have this seat that you sit on and it measures your sit bones. And Dell actually recommended a wider saddle. So I 
got a wider saddle. I brought the bike back to Elite and Dell uh, put the saddle on to make sure all the measurements were the same. I've had the opportunity to ride the bike with the fit and the new saddle several times now. I thought the bike fit really good before. It was comfortable. And now that we made some of those adjustments, the bike truly fits like a glove. So I've been cycling for like 10 years and I'm kicking myself for not doing this sooner. I would highly recommend a bike fit if you're on the fence, even if you already think your bike fits great. I will leave all of Elite Cycling's contact information in the description of this video. Give them a holler, go see Dell, they will treat you right. So guys, thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, keep crushing it.